this is John from caveonprogramming.com and this is the first of um, probably a series of tutorials on creating games in Flash using free tools. So everything that you need to create your own Flash games is free and I'm going to show you how to get started. The first thing that you need is you need the Flash Develop IDE integrated development environment which you can get from flashdevelop.org so download and install that and if I remember rightly Flash Develop will automatically install the free um, Flex SDK uh, when you install it but if it doesn't you'll need to type Flex SDK into Google and um, download this yourself and the other thing that I'm going to be using in these tutorials, although not in the first one, is Flixel, which is a game programming library for Flash. So just download that and unzip it to your hard drive somewhere, and that's at flixel.org. So um, let's go to Flash Develop here, and to get started, I'm going to go to Project, New Project, and AS3 Project. And I should have mentioned that I'm um, going to assume that you are familiar with programming, at least in a language such as Java, for example. And AS3 is a simple language that's pretty similar to Java. So if you do know Java, you'll be on um, solid ground. And if you don't, then this tutorial would be a pretty steep learning curve for you, um, although um, hopefully you might still find it helpful. Um, so um, give your project a name um, when you've selected AS3 project. I'm going to call this Game Tutorial 1. You can set the location of it and make sure you tick um, Create Directory for Project here. It's ticked by default. Click OK and Flash Develop creates. If you expand Source in this project browser here on the right, you'll see that you've got a main.as already created and if you run that um, this will actually build and run a SWF file that you could embed in an HTML page. You could put it, put it on your website, in other words, just using kind of standard syntax, using some HTML um, embed tags, which I won't show you here, but you can readily find that information on the internet. Um, and if you look in your project folder, um, if I go to um, I've created this game tutorial one. You will have this um, in bin. You'll have this uh, um, game tutorial one.swf, for instance, uh, which is the flash file that you'd want to embed on your website. Although, before you embed it, don't forget to switch this here to release and build a release version. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to put some um, text on the screen basically, but um, and in the next one, we're going to have like a, a sphere that's going to like bounce around the screen. Now go to your main class here and type a couple of square brackets like this. And inside those, type SWF in capitals, followed by a couple of round brackets like that. And in there, you can type some attributes that apply to your kind of flash stage. So um, I'm going to type width equals width equals and in quotes I'll type um, 640 and comma and then height equals and in quotes 480 and then I'll also type after a comma back ground color equals in quotes and here I'll specify color in hexadecimal format so I type O X 0 X that is and then my red I'm gonna have well, I'm gonna have this I'm going to set the, the SWF to black. So this is going to be six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first two numbers here go from zero in hex to FF, and they are red. And the second two are green, and the last two are blue. So now if I run this, I should get a black 640 by 480 SWF running here. And I'm just going to put some text for now um, on here. So I'll type... Um, uh, var text txt um, I'm just making a name for the variable here and the biggest difference between AS3 and most other languages is that in AS3 
you specify the type of the variable um, after the variable itself. So I say txt colon and I want this to be a text field. So I, take, so I say text field like this equals new um, text field and that bit's just the same as in Java. And then I can say txt.text equals, I'll say hello world. And let's say txt. Dot, I want to actually see it, so I have to set. Um, I think it's text color that I want to set there, and I set that to a hexadecimal um, value again, so zero x, and I'll set it to um, green, so zero zero for red, ff for green, maximum green, zero zero for blue, and then a semicolon. And finally, I need to add it to the stage, so. I'm going to say add child brackets txt and then if I run this um, I get hello world here in very tiny letters. So in the um, in the next tutorial um, we're going to start looking at Flixel and I'm going to bring in Flixel here and we're going to use it to create a little sprite, a little um, it's going to be like a little glowing sphere um, that's just going to bounce around the screen. So join me again then and you can find um, this code on caveofprogramming.com which is all one word and um, until next time happy coding